Hey guys, thanks for coming over on such short notice. You kidding me? You say you turned your house into an escape room? Of course we're gonna wanna see this. So, uh, where is it? You're in it. What? It's a spiritual escape room. Like a haunted house. No, no. I mean, like, I found a way out, guys. <laughs> yeah, I think we're about to do the same. Come on. Go. Oh, hear me out. I'm talking about Exodus 90. We're all trapped in our ways. We do things we don't want to do. Like being here. <laughs> and we say things we don't mean to say. We're distracted. Sorry, fantasy football stuff. And we make a lot of excuses. Exodus is the escape. What is going on here? Our escape plan has three pillars. Prayer, fraternity, and asceticism. Set of what is it? Asceticism. This looks crazy. Let's start with prayer. One hour a day, at least 20 minutes in silence with God. And read a daily reflection on the Exodus app. Exodus 90 starts with one book of the Bible in particular. Any guesses which one? Oh, Exodus. Oh, what's the 90th book of the Bible? Are you kidding? It starts with the book of Exodus, my man. That's the 90th? That can't be right. <laughs> Just like God led the Israelites out of slavery in Egypt, he will lead us into new freedom. It's a prayer thing. That's just pillar number one. The next is fraternity. We meet once a week. Fraternity? Believe me, we can't do this alone. Exodus 90 is tough. It's a frat. Pillar number three is asceticism. You keep saying that like I'm supposed to know what that means. Well, let me give you a few examples. You'll do regular intense exercise. No alcohol allowed. Oh. No sugar, no soda, no sweets. I'm sorry. What's that? No eating between meals at all. No watching sports, no TV, no movies. Well, we could at least listen to music. Only music that lifts your soul up to God. So like Creed. Maybe. Let's talk that through later. How long do we keep this up? Until Easter, so 90 days. Get it? Feels like you're selling me something, and then you're just pulling stuff away. It's not about giving things up. It's about making room for what's most important so God can help us escape. So far, 100,000 men have escaped and nearly all of them said they experienced new freedom. And the majority report having a better relationship with their wife and their kids. I don't have a wife. Aww. Exodus is for anyone, man. We all need freedom. Pull up startexodus90.com. The app has all the readings and meditations. You can check off your progress and talk directly with your fraternity. Wait. Cold showers every day. Yep, up, 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 up. Freedom. This doesn't sound like a fun frat. No. No. Mark is right. It's so easy to be distracted, even addicted to things that trap us. Minds ringing with digital noise. Bodies salved with the comforts of contemporary decadence. Scripture tells us that the Lord speaks in a still, small voice. And Exodus helps you create a space where you can really listen, perhaps for the first time. So yes, we could continue to numb ourselves with food, drink, and entertainment. Or we could pause and allow Christ to take our hand and to walk us through the door of true freedom. I'm in. Yes! Also, you owe us a trip to a real escape room. Yeah, I do.